Objective To study about Leaf The leaf is a thin, broad, flat, and green part of a plant, which is attached to the stem. Leaves of different plants have different shapes and sizes, but all of them have the same basic structure. Parts of leaf A leaf consists of mainly two parts, lamina and petiole. The broad green part of the leaf is called lamina or leaf blade. The thin stalk with which leaf is attached to the stem is called petiole or leaf stalk. There is a midrib in the center of lamina. A large number of veins spread out from the midrib to all the parts of the leaf. There are minute pores on the surface of the leaf, which are called stomata. The stomata allow gases to move in and out of the leaf. They also allow excess water vapor to go out of the leaf. The leaves of plants contain a green colored pigment called chlorophyll. It absorbs energy from the sunlight. The arrangement of veins on the leaf blade is called venation. We distinguish between two major types of leaf venation, reticulate venation and parallel venation. When the veins form a net like shape on either side of the midrib, it is reticulate venation. This type of venation is seen in dicots such as guava and mango. When the veins run parallel to one another, it is called parallel venation. This type of venation is seen in monocots, example, banana, wheat, coconut, etc. The leaves of plants are majorly responsible for performing two essential functions for the plant's survival and growth. These two functions are called transpiration and photosynthesis. Transpiration. Transpiration is the process through which plants release the excess amount of water in the form of water vapor into the air. When the water travels through the stem to the leaves, some of it gets used up to prepare food. While the excess water is lost through the stomata, present in the lower surface of the leaves. Transpiration is important for the plants as it helps the plants to cool down. In the absence of transpiration, the temperature of the leaf becomes unregulated, which may lead to the eventual death of the plant. We can observe transpiration by enclosing a leafy part of a plant in a closed polythene bag and keeping it in the sun. After a while, we see tiny droplets of water on the inside of polythene bags which are proof that the leaves have performed transpiration. Photosynthesis Photosynthesis is the process in which the leaves prepare food for the plant in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll present in them. For this, they also use water and carbon dioxide. Plants also release oxygen in this process. The food prepared is stored in various parts of the plant. In the absence of photosynthesis, the plant is unable to utilize the water and minerals to prepare food for its nourishment and gradually dies. In order to see if leaves really do perform photosynthesis, we take a leaf and immerse it in a test tube filled with spirit. Placing this test tube in a beaker filled with water, we heat the beaker After the leaf loses its color, we wash it with water. Place it on a watch glass and pour iodine solution on it. The leaf turns blue-black. It shows the presence of starch in it. We can test the presence of starch by using a slice of raw potato as it gets starch from the leaves and stores in it. In some plants, such as bryophyllum and begonia, the leaves perform vegetative propagation. The leaves bear buds in the marginal notches, from which new plants grow 
and develop. In some plants, leaves are modified to store food. For this purpose, the leaves become thick and fleshy. Example, onion. <laughs>